Hey guys, so I am doing a bunch of shopping today and I'm like in the middle of it thinking I should just vlog today. So I'm at the Dollar Tree. I'm at my second Dollar Tree. Um, I'll show you what I bought at the other one, but they have their Dollar Tree. If you have a Dollar Tree Plus section, they have it 50% off. So that's what I'm looking at right now. So like these big porch signs would be 250. I found these, which I'm not gonna get, but they're cute. They are a dollar fifty. I'm thinking of this because I can take the wreath off and do my own thing. I'm also thinking of this because I can take the carrots off and do my own thing. The other location had some of the same stuff, but also different stuff. I'm also planning to go to several other stores, so we'll see what we find today. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think, do like a shop and share kind of as we go, because I don't really know what today's gonna hold. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It is not hot out, it's like 60 degrees, um, but it's kind of hot in the car. I got a shedding hair. I want that in my car. Um, so I opened up <laughs> the window and hoping that that doesn't make as much noise as the um, air conditioning, oh my goodness. Okay, so I was so excited to see Dollar Tree Plus had their Easter stuff 50% off at both of the locations by me. Um, although I was told by one of the um, employees that not all of them were doing it. But anyways, I'm gonna show you really quick what I got. Um, so I got this sign, which I'm really excited about. If you don't know, I have a DIY channel. Um, and so I plan on DIYing this, but I think all I'm gonna do is change out these carrots um, so this, I only paid two fifty for this. Okay, I gotta take my outer shirt off. I need it kind of outside because, like I said, it's not like it's um, hot out, but the sun. I might have to open up more windows. Oh my word. Anyway, this is cute as is, but I think this will be a really easy one. I don't know what I'm gonna put here, hanging down, but I'm gonna do something else. So I'll just save this till I come up with something, but. It's a nice large sign, and for $2.50 with a little bit of DIYing, I will have something cute for, I'm thinking my guest room, but maybe not. We'll see where it goes. I also got a plain um, floor mat to, I'm going to paint it and put on some words. I layer, they're small, and they don't last forever because, you know, they're cheap and I put paint on them, but um, they actually last pretty good. I shouldn't say that because they do last well, but um I layer them on top of like a bigger mat and so that way the bigger mat doesn't get as dirty and I can just keep using it and I can just replace it with something cheap and I just stencil on some words or whatever. Another thing I got to DIY is this. I only paid $2.50 for this as well and all of this is just wired on. So I can take, I will probably use the grapevine wreath base. The welcome comes off so I can take that off and paint it if I want. Anyways, I will, I think this will go in my entryway um, but I will give it a makeover. A couple unrelated, non-crafty items. I got some blank notes, note cards. I keep these on hand. We have lots of birthdays and occasions in our family. So we have a large family, plus other things that come up. And I just like to have blank ones and that way they're available for all different occasions, different ages and genders and all that. So I needed some more variety. These are the ones, so I have a hard time finding ones for boys, um, but this one is, is can be used for anybody but that's kind of one of my go-to's for them and then i bought some more um finding more hair y'all i shed so much that i sometimes wonder how i'm not as bald as my husband and that is not a blast on my husband but he is bald i got some claw clips these are usually kind of pricey so and they always break even when you spend more on them so i figured to get two of them for a dollar 25 is pretty good when i'm home i keep my hair up a lot because, well, I shed everywhere and I don't want hair in my food and that kind of a thing. I got this flocked bunny. So this was only $1.50. And I don't really do bunnies for Easter. I don't really decorate a ton for Easter, but I still think they're cute for spring. Um, and I thought these were really cute. This was really cute. They actually had three different like positions of the bunnies and I thought about getting more than one, but realistically, storage wise, I was like, I'm just gonna get one. Um, I won't do anything to him. I could change out the bow, but I'll probably just leave it as is. I thought it was cute. And then I bought a couple of boxes of tissues. I, these are not my favorite. I would prefer from another store, but I'm completely out at home 
and all these sometimes is out of them when I go. So I just grabbed a couple. All right, I think we're gonna head to Hobby Lobby. I don't know if their Easter stuff is, I know it's already been marked down to 40% off. I don't know if it's marked down more. I'll do a quick walk through there. And then I'm going to Marshall's to hopefully look for some clothes. And at some point here, I'll be doing grocery shopping, but like I said, that'll be another video. And um, I'm already, I already can tell I'm running out of time. So let's go. So I'm currently blocked in here from a car behind me that is dead that I just saw like a bunch of people pushing. Oh, okay. They were pushing it onto somebody who's towing them. So that's good. I'm not stuck here forever. Thought about getting out to help them. And I was like, who am I kidding? I have so many back issues. Why on earth do I think I could help move a car? <laughs> that's ridiculous. But maybe I can leave now. It looks like the crowd of people is gone. They're just hitching it up to something to tow them. So that was fun. I went to leave and I was like, wow, there's like 10 people behind me. Oh, and a car. Okay, let's go. Running out of time. All right, so I'm kind of excited because I just pulled into Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna put this back on. The air outside is not cold, but you know, chilly. It's just this car that's hot. Anyways, pulled into Hobby Lobby and the parking lot is very empty, especially compared to what I've been seeing. So let's go in and see if there's any fun deals. I like finding seasonal clearance items that are actually not super seasonal, like they're marked seasonal, but I can either make them over and use them differently or they really are like neutral. Like I've gotten like a white bowl or something like that. That's like, it's in a certain seasonal line that I can use it for whatever. So that's what I like to look for. I'm not really looking to spend a bunch of money today. You just never know. I have pretty good self-control, so I'm not super worried about just like buying stuff just to buy it, but sometimes you find some really good deals. Let's go. This should be quick. Easter stuff is still only 40% off, so I won't be getting any of that. But to give you an idea of something I would get, would be like this or this. That was not my fault. I wasn't even near it. I'm gonna take a quick walk through the clearance section, but maybe it's good that the stuff isn't marked down more because that'll keep me moving. I got a lot to do today. These are really cute too, but I'm not looking for stuff like that. They've rearranged a bunch of stuff, <laughs> so I don't know where anything is. But I do think I know where the clearance section is now. So let's go see if we can find it. So they have a decent amount of stuff. But I did pick up some a couple things here. I don't know, last time I was in. Most of the things I'm interested in though, I want them to go be marked down more. Like these. I'd be interested in these, but I'm hoping they go down more. These mugs are cute, not cheap enough for me. I kind of want to get one of these to do a DIY for 4th of July but there's several of them, so maybe it'll get knocked down more. On my way out and found, found some winter clearance. Almost was thinking of getting this for 250, but I like easier washing instructions. So I'm gonna pass. So it is loud and crowded in here. I'm trying to do some shopping. I could only bring in so many at a time. So I'm gonna start with some dresses. I have expressed before that I do not like shopping for clothes. I find a lot of stuff that is on trend to be stuff I don't like. I also find a lot of stuff to be see-through, which is not my thing. But I've also found that I need to try things on to know. So as much as I do not like this process, I have put it off for so long that I seem to need a lot of stuff in my wardrobe and I don't even need a lot of clothes in general but stuff is worn out not fitting that kind of thing it doesn't work for what I my lifestyle anymore so I'm making myself continue to try to find clothes even though I don't like this process so I thought I would try with the easy stuff some casual things so I tried down this top and I don't like it I don't know if it's because I don't like my pants these are mine, but I don't like them. I feel like this is too low. I can't totally tell when it's straight on, but if I moved. So, starting with the easiest stuff, and it's still enough. I 
feel like all the tops are crop tops. This is not a full true crop top, but it is not that long. Again, doesn't look great with these pants, but even with different pants, I feel like it would cover my stomach, but not if I like did anything in it. I don't know what size to get because all of these are different brands. So this one could not gonna work. Couldn't even hardly get it on. This, I think I like, I like dresses. I like easy wear dresses. I like ones that, you know, aren't sheer, um, that I don't have to worry about things showing up here. This one is not as tight up top as I would like for when I like bend over. The length is good. It's got pockets. Looks really great with socks. <laughs> Just kidding. Shoes is something else that I actually really need. Um, but I don't want a lot of them. I just need to like find one or two like neutral pairs. Anyways, this is a contender. Another one that was too small. And bad news on this one, it's hand wash. And I don't do hand wash. That's just not a thing for me. Unless it's for like a wedding or something. So this one, I like all right. It's too short for church for me because I move around a lot with the stuff that I do there. So um, might be okay for just like out shopping. I don't think this is gonna work. I want it to. But if it was to like a little bit longer, it'd be fine. It's longer in the back, which is nice, but not in my comfort level. All right, I put back on my clothes because I had to go get some more out of the like check-in area, some more stuff to try on. I nixed a couple more dresses because they were the same brand and size of ones I'd already tried on. But I did try this on. Now I don't like this with these pants. But I do like it in general. It's just a nice layering piece, which I'm always needing. That's something I'm definitely lacking is like layering pieces. So I'm just not sure on the wash of the denim. I'm really weird about that kind of stuff, but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get this. Plain back black tee is the first thing that fits. These pants are okay, but they're way too long. This, the waist here, does not, it's like cinched in, which is fine, but it's so tight, there's like no elastic, that I was afraid I'd, I'd rip it if I put it on. And that one is hand wash only and see-through. So, yay, a plain black t-shirt. I mean, I'm probably gonna get it, but like, seriously? All right, nothing groundbreaking, but I finally have a pair of pants that fit right. They're not a low rise, but they're not, you know, up to here and they're comfortable. They're not as cheap as I would like, but they actually fit. So, looks like I at least get a plain basic outfit. So, doesn't fulfill all of the gaps in my wardrobe, but at least something fits. I'm thinking about these shorts. They're like a, a looser linen, which is good, but I don't know if they're like too loose. They only almost seem a little weird. I don't think I can do that. Does anybody else get physically and mentally exhausted shopping for clothes? I've always been like this. Wow, that was a little pothole in the parking lot. Um, I've always been like this. Wow. So my mother will attest, and probably my sisters, to the fact that when I was younger, clothing shopping was burdensome because I couldn't make up my mind. Now that's kind of the case and also I just don't like half the stuff or it doesn't fit or it's see-through or it's low cut or it looks frumpy or I'm just not super into a lot of the trends. I'm trying to spread myself by like at least not spread myself. I'm trying to stretch myself by at least trying things on because I realize that they look different on. I do have the air on a little bit because it's just the warm. In the car, it's not warm out there really. I mean, it's nice out there, but not hot. Anyways, I realize that things feel or look different when they're on. Oh my gosh, I need chapstick. Um, so I'm trying to stretch myself by trying things on. I left with three items. My husband told me to go for it with the jeans because of course I was texting him. They're more than I wanted to spend, but like they're the first pair of pants I found that like 
fit the way I think they should fit. Um, they weren't that, they were $28, which is a lot for me for pants. I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not. But he's like, if you really like them, just get them. <laughs> which I needed that push because I would have probably talked myself out of it. I got the black t-shirt, it was like eight bucks. And I got the jean jacket over thing, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that one. I don't remember how much it was. It was more than I wanted to spend, but I really need some of those layering pieces. Um, I find myself lacking those a lot in my wardrobe. So I'm trying to just buy things that actually fill a need in my wardrobe. So anyways, I'm gonna run to Walmart because I need other stuff there too. I'm gonna walk through the clothes. I don't know how much new stuff there'll be, but I'm gonna look, look through that and see if there's anything I can find and then call it good. It's literally like mentally draining. <laughs> Plus I have to go grocery shopping. Thankfully grocery shopping is actually pretty quick for me because I'm sticking to my list, but I do need to get that done. We've got plans tonight. So anyways, off to Walmart. All right, in Walmart, the only things I grabbed to tie on were some dresses. Unfortunately, the first two well, I got it in a small and a medium, and apparently I need an extra small, which I never need, but this was, the way it fit was not right, or maybe I just don't like how it fits. Anyways, trying on this. I like it, don't love it. This is another one that I'm like, is this big? Or is it just looser fitting? Which I don't mind, that I actually like the looser fitting, but it feels big. I like the length of it. I like that it has pockets. I like that it's casual. I think I'm gonna pass. I think that's it for my shopping today. I think we're gonna call it good. It is so hot in my car. So I have officially run out of time to go grocery shopping. Not that that's really relevant to this video. I have like 45 minutes, but that's not gonna be enough time to go to all my stops. So I'm gonna show you what I got really quick. First of all, I got myself some chicken tenders from like the hot area in Walmart because I'm hungry. I did bring some peanuts and raisins to snack on and I've got a little bit of that left. And I had a cheese stick and a banana. When I left the house, I wasn't hungry yet. No luck on the clothes. I think I could have got one of those dresses, but I would have needed to grab another size and frankly, I'm tired. But, one thing I did get, which I'm not confident I'm going to keep, but I think I am, is this little crossbody bag. I'm not a huge purse person. Like, I usually have, like, one at a time. I have one, I use it till it's worn out, and then I get another one. But there, been occasion, there was an occasion where I needed, would have needed a smaller bag. Um, and we're going somewhere tomorrow, um, a venue that I'm assuming, I haven't looked up the regulations, but I'm assuming... I'm going to need a smaller bag. And there's just been times where I wish I'd had one. So I got this one. I kind of wish it could be worn as like a fanny pack, but I don't think it can go small enough for that. Hang on. Let me put my chicken down. Okay. So I liked the beige one a little bit. I thought it would be nice for the summer, but I just was looking at the strap on it and I was like, this is going to just get dirty. So I went with the black. So exciting. I know, but it's got the big pocket here. Let me see what else is in there actually. I'm surprised she didn't take all the stuffing out. Usually they do that just to make sure that you don't have anything in there. But I don't, just a bunch of paper. All right, so, and I don't love the Madden NYC on the front. I'm not huge into like logos and stuff, but whatever. So it's got one little zipper pocket in the inside. I don't think my regular, my wallet will fit in here, but I think I've got some other zipper pouches that I could use on occasions like that, that I can put my money in. Then it's got a pocket in the front, which is really not big enough for anything more than like a nail file and a tap stick. I don't even know if I showed you that. Yeah, there, there you go. And then it's got two straps. It's got this one, which I love is adjustable, which I, it's like easily adjustable, which I like because when I go into like a public bathroom or something, I like to shorten the strap so that it's, not like it's close to me and it's not swinging around and gonna hit anything gross or if i'm in a like a busy crowded area too and then but it has this strap as well which i may or may not ever use i mean i'll keep it you never know and then it's got this little thing that attaches to the front so 
when you're wearing it, this is like hanging in front of you. And I guess this is something you can put money in. Anyway, I picked this up because I've needed something with smaller like this. And um, I don't know, I gotta think on it, but not long because if I'm keeping it, I'm using it tomorrow. Um, <laughs> if I'm not gonna use it tomorrow, then I don't need to be, I don't necessarily need to get it right now. Um, anyways, but it was 20 bucks, which is not bad, but I'm cheap. So now I'm going to run to Lowe's really quick for some diatomaceous earth. I wanted to pick that up at Walmart, but they seemed to be out. Diatomaceous earth is like a non-toxic, like pest control kind of for certain things. And it's good for ants. And we use it on the fire ant hills because we got fire ant season. They've been around actually for, well, our spring came early here. Um, anyways, it, it helps rid them and you don't want fire ant hills around your yard. If you've ever stepped on fire ants, it's not a thing you, you know, that I recommend doing. I can't get this. I try to put the stuffing back in and I just can't do it. Anyways, unfortunately Walmart was out. So I'm going to run to Lowe's and then probably just run home and have to go out grocery shopping tomorrow, which I don't like, but I have to head out tomorrow anyway. So it's not a huge deal, I guess. But I think that's gonna be it for today's really random shop with me vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if you did. I mean, if you didn't, you probably aren't still watching. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video.